Hello friends and welcome to Mrs. Carnes and Me. We're a part-time travel couple from Southeast Missouri and we're so glad that you're tagging along today as we experience a staycation right in our hometown of Cape Girardeau. Thank you so much for watching and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. Well, hello friends. Welcome back to Mrs. Carnes and Me. If you followed our channel, you know we've been to 39 countries and 41 states. And we have a collection inside of our house of probably 300 Do Not Disturb hotel markers for your door. So we've stayed in a lot of hotels, we've been on a lot of trips and travels, but we're gonna go on the most unusual stay that we've ever been on. Come along on Mrs. Carnes and Me and find out where we're going. So we're driving separately. I'm driving myself because he's gonna get up and go to work in the morning and I didn't wanna get up that early and have to have him drive me back. So I can do what I want in the morning. So here's a little history lesson. Those of you who don't know about Cape Girardeau, Missouri, back in 2012, Cape Girardeau was granted the 13th and last casino license in the state of Missouri. The laws in Missouri say you can only have 13 of them and Cape Girardeau was selected as a recipient of a casino. We've had a casino here in town since 2012. There's been talk about them adding a hotel to their casino operations. COVID sort of put a stop to that for several years, but we are about to go and do a staycation. We are going to go and stay in our own hometown in a brand new hotel. Uh, Century Casino has invited Mrs. Carnes and me as VIPs to help them with the soft opening of their hotel and their restaurant. So we are about to go check into the new Riverview Hotel on the site of the Century Casino here in town. We're going to be the first people to have ever slept in this bed and we're going to bring you along and let you see what the new hotel in Cape Girardeau looks like. standing here looking at us when we walked in. It's really cool. I wonder if those were building inspectors that were standing here. <laughs> oh, look how cute. Wow. The first thing that you notice when you enter this room are the expansive windows with the breathtaking view of the Mississippi River. Located in historic downtown Cape Girardeau, the Riverview is Cape's newest hotel. Boasting 69 rooms and suites, the Riverview Hotel offers respite, excitement, or a fusion of both. Our room is a 456 square foot Riverview King, and every detail of this room has been thoughtfully curated to ensure a memorable and comfortable stay. And this is a cool feature. They have plugs and USB, especially if you're a YouTube vlogger and you have 77 things you can charge like somebody, exactly. like somebody does. Well, the USB jack's come in handy. Very. King size bed. Mm -hmm. I do know this from, I took a tour of this place when it was under construction and there's not a huge amount of rooms here, 69 rooms on the entire hotel, but they made them all similar in size. I think there's there's two suites upstairs that are like half the floor. Yeah. Um, but most of the rooms are what I would consider to be like a, a, a small suite. They're nice. There's lots of space in here. Um, King lots. plus beds and so, I think this is a very nice size room. When I went through the tour, I was thinking, okay, this room is has a nice it's size. It's spacious, room, lots yeah, of space. it really does, yeah, nice. 
The bath amenities were a surprise for us. These locally sourced handmade bath amenities were our first time to encounter both bar shampoo and conditioner. I was super impressed with the cute little holder in the shower for these and learned that these were designed and made especially for this hotel. If you're anything like me, then you're wondering what the other rooms in this hotel look like. So, let's go have a look. Yeah, let me show you first. This is the, the Riverview Suite. Okay. Everything here on the seventh floor is a suite. Is a suite, okay. Oh, look at that. I love nice. that. Yeah. Wow. I love this. It's just... I love the windows. Oh. Yeah, you couldn't have asked for a better view. <laughs> yeah, that, you oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow, it is huge. Wow. This is, wow, double sinks, little separate room. Oh, wow, look at the shower, huge shower. So cool. So cool. There are some double queens, okay. but they're primarily kings. So this is a roulette room. Yeah, roulette king. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. This bathroom's similar. So how many square feet is like our room? Oh, so your room's like, uh, wow. 457, okay. I think. Okay. And then these are like, um, okay. Oh, I love it. TV. I'm sure the TV comes up out of here. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. Sure. Look at that. Wow. Oh, and it's on both sides. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's cool. I love the light fixture. That's really pretty. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -mm. No. Nice chairs. Look at that. So are the curtains electric? <laughs> I'm ready. Look at that. Oh, I love it. We stayed in a room in New York that had electric curtains in it. So now we're going in the jackpot suite. Oh, look at the light. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, this is a jackpot. Look at this, look at that couch. Oh, wow. Oh man, look at the TV. I keep saying wow. That's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you hit the jackpot here. And again, the view. Wow, just can't get over the view. This may be one of the biggest rooms we've ever seen. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. It's so cool though. Wow, it is cool, very cool. All right, I gotta see this bedroom and this bathroom. Oh, and look at the flowers! Wow, I love that. So, kind of designed for hospitality. To yeah. A little event here. You can close the close the bedroom off. Yeah. Half bath so people don't have to go to oh, that's bedroom. nice too. Yeah. Well, and I'm loving these little ottomans. We we were we found that so cute when we looked at our room even. Oh wow. Yeah, this is so nice. Oh wow. Yeah, you hit the jackpot if you're here. Very cool. This is, you know, I have all the about the rate for here, but this is primarily one that's, in most cases, will not even be listed on the website. It'll be something to call about. And really used as a, as a half bath. A little half bath area. Turn the light on. Oh, look at how cute that is. <laughs> Offering a variety of dining options, including Beacon 53 and the Red Star Grill, you're sure to find something to satisfy your hunger. Yours is the flatbread. Is that what that is? It's a mushroom flatbread. I, this is before it was actually. So I got the ribeye with the marchand. Okay. 
What's mine? Look at mine. You've got the aqua wah. With the frites. That's aqua wah, that's the filet, and that's the frites. Okay. And you have the mahi mahi. So we, we just finished up our dinner at Beacon 53. It was very, very good. Uh, we both had a steak. Uh, Mrs. Carnes had the frites, as is her particular order. I had a Marchand potato. Very, very good. Wine selection was nice. We had a Prisoner uh, 2021 cab. Paired very well with the dinner. Uh, we ran into some very good friends. Shout out to Gary and Crystal. It's nice to run into you. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Always. It's a pleasure, as always. We stepped out onto the, the balcony here at uh, Century Casino, and the shots mm. of the... Beautiful. Nighttime view of the Mississippi River Bridge are spectacular. As always. So we're going to head upstairs back to our room and call it a night. Mm -hmm. Do we end the Sounds video fun. here? No, probably not. Okay. But so we're going to wish we'll you see all how the morning goes. a good night, and Mrs. Carnes will see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. I've left Mrs. Carnes sleeping as the... Uh, sun just peeks over the Mississippi River river wall there on the Illinois side. I'm checking out of the uh, river view. I have an early morning meeting this morning and I've left Mrs. Carnes up there to uh, do a little uh, sleeping in, take her time. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 14 cars in the parking lot today. But uh, all in all, wonderful evening at the Riverview. I'm sure we will wrap this up in a different way, but if we don't, thank you so much for tuning in to Mrs. Carnes and me. This has been a very unique hotel review for us. We've had a wonderful night with a very good dinner at Beacon 53 and a nice stay at the brand new Riverview. Thanks for watching, friends. We know we're living the good life. We hope that you are too. Till we meet again. Here I am, still at the hotel. Mr. Carnes left, so I've just stayed here and had a nice morning getting ready. And so I'm here this morning living the good life. <laughs>